Hey everyone, Rudy here with the Retro Universe, and just a couple days ago I did a video shot up above of the IGBA app that was released on iOS and iPhone, of course, so that you can go ahead and play emulators and play your old classic Game Boy games uh, and Game Boy Color games. But that didn't last long. They actually ended up removing the IGBA app from the App Store because it was actually using an older, uh, I guess you could say, it was using already existing stuff from another uh, app that previously was on iOS back in the day. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but they took it off because, yeah, it's just using someone else's stuff and they just uploaded it themselves and added ads and stuff. So that is gone from the App Store. You can no longer buy it. I still have it on my phone. I don't know why, but they finally came out with another one. It is from Delta. It's called Delta uh, Game Emulator and you can get it on the App Store. And this one actually includes more. Now the IGBA app was only Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games. With the Delta one, we'll get into it right here, you can actually play Nintendo DS, N64, Super Nintendo, uh, I believe regular Nintendo, and then of course the Game Boy stuff. So let's go ahead and show you guys real quick here. Um, and this way you're gonna add games to it is just like the IGBA app one, you can put stuff on your iCloud drive, it'll go in your files and then you can import them from there into here uh, with the plus symbol and then from there it'll store all the ROMs and saves on your phone So it's not storing them in the cloud What's uh, really cool is like I said, I already have my Game Boy Color games here GBA games uh, a couple of DS games and Then some N64 games. It didn't bring in the art. I wonder if it's because it has all this additional stuff on it Maybe that's why it's not pulling it in same with this one um, But yeah, they totally work um I'll say off the bat, some of the touchscreen stuff on some of them can be better. Um, but, you know, that's what you're getting with these controls. Um, so this one I had already... Oh, let's see if the safe state is still here. It is. Okay, cool. So the safe states work. Um, and again, you do get your haptic feedback when you press these buttons. Uh, it works in this orientation. And it also works in this orientation. Uh, if you decide to do it that way. Um, for the Nintendo DS stuff, you do need to uh, import some BIOS files that you can find online. I'll put a link down below where you guys can find those files. Um, so you do need to add those in order to play Nintendo DS games through the Delta app. But yeah, it, it totally works like this. Uh, if you want to play these games like that, um, the touchscreen works for this section as well. Um, I played through the first level like this, uh, and it was it was fine. I mean, it, it works. Um, so yeah, that's the DS stuff. Um, I don't see any options for other skins, so it's this like pink default one. Um, they have a folder for skins, but maybe it's something you could add down the line. But yeah, so that's the DS stuff. Now let's go ahead and hit main menu, and let's try some N64 stuff. Now the N64 controller was uh, was its own weirdness and you all know that, so having everything here, it's not gonna work that well. Um, so I would recommend using a controller when you're playing N64 games. If you can muster to play like this, or like this, and you are totally comfortable with doing so, I mean, by all means, power to you, right? So we'll let that start up real quick. Um, yeah, I played it earlier, and I did play it with the controller here, and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's let that keep going. I think it's really neat, you know, again, I've seen people play like this, but I don't think this is going to be the most ideal way to play a lot of N64 games. Especially, uh, like, the Z being right here with the A, like, sometimes it's just, it's just weird. Having to press them both at the same time for some games, like, it's just, it's going to be a little funky. All right, and we're in. Yeah, so again, it runs fine. Uh, you could do all the stuff you need to do. 
see like this if you want to duck then you have to go down like that so it might be something that you can get used to um, but for the most part everything works now let me show you guys with the backbone control and I mentioned it worked on the IGBA app and it totally works here as well so if you have one of these or a Bluetooth controller what will happen is it immediately gets rid of all the the UI interface and now you can play it like this so this will still be your d-pad this is your your one analog nub the second analog stick becomes your your C buttons so those will be the ones you use for the camera controls which is kind of neat and then here is your A button and your B button so they are switched here's your start you could use this as Z or you can actually use the L2 or R2 as your Z button which is nice then of course your L and R up here um, so yeah I mean this is gonna be the ideal way to play if you're really wanting to play these N64 games and same for the DS stuff as well it works really well for the DS stuff um, but yeah it totally totally responds to everything that I'm doing one thing I noticed like see I'm pressing this one like if I were to press it like that if I would want to instantly press it and do a sometimes it doesn't work okay it worked there but yeah so that's that here's your menu and as for menu you get save states load states uh, cheat codes which I haven't really messed with I think you have to add them yourself there's a fast forward option and hold buttons I don't really know what you would use that for but there's a hold buttons there uh, let's go ahead and show some other stuff here even though I showed them in the previous video here let's just do DS real quick with the controller so yeah it fills up the screen like this which is really nice uh, let's do save state yeah and yeah totally works probably better than with the touch controls uh, I am playing this through my viewfinder so forgive me for sucking but yeah, I mean, this totally works as a, as a DS without needing a DS. The game runs fine. I've only tested it with this and um, Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass, I do have the copy that uh, you can play with the uh, controls. So it's not all touchscreen, but if you want to hate yourself and just do touchscreen controls, you totally can. But yeah, that, that totally works as well. So let's get out of that. Main menu. Let's go ahead and try uh, GBA. I'm going to launch Leaf Green here real quick. And again, as I mentioned in the other video, these buttons are reversed. So this is normally supposed to be B on the GBA and A, but they have A here and B here. So keep that in mind. Yep, why are we here? Is it starting from the beginning? Oh, okay. So it's starting from the beginning, I guess. But yeah, GBA games look great as well. Uh, again, like I said, if you're using actual controls, I don't know how it is on any other Bluetooth controller, but when you're playing with these, uh, this is gonna be your A button, that's gonna be your B button. Uh, I didn't load up any Super Nintendo stuff, but I mean, I'm sure it's gonna work just as well as all these do. Um, I think it's really cool, guys. Obviously, I have preferred ways of playing these games, like on actual hardware. Uh, but you can totally play games like this if you don't have that stuff anymore. Obviously, some games are getting stupid expensive out there uh, to buy physically, so it's not something you probably want to even do. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it looks like. It's really cool. I like that they included the other uh, systems on there, so that's definitely neat to have. And uh, everything works well so far. The save states appear to work. Uh, hopefully, this one doesn't vanish from the App Store. But that's, that's what it's going to look like, and that's going to do it for my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys check it out. Again, it's called Delta Game Emulator, so that's what you have to look up on the App Store. So that's going to do it, guys. Take it easy.